guys, it's Jamie with Rescue for All. We just got done um, seeing Dr. Armstrong at Indian Trail Animal Hospital. And this little guy, well, he's not dying, so that's good. Um, he, he, so the occult blood fecal that he has, um, he has minuscule amounts of, um, microscopic amounts of um, blood in his feces. Oh, I hate that word. Anyway, and so what that means is that he has a GI bleed. We see. And a GI bleed is not good um, because that's an indication that there's something, um, some sort of ulcer possibly. There could be um, a whole multitude of things that are um, going on in there. So what we're going to do is he's actually read through some information um, from the... Uh, histopathology report from when they originally did his um sorry endoscopy to put his peg tube in so when they did that they took some pinch biopsies and there was actually some um bacteria that was present that they didn't acknowledge then because we were so concerned about um getting him stable with his peg tube and um getting him not where he was anorexic and that's from starving um for his first nine weeks um, of life and well it was a little further than that anyway so um, he's gonna call down Dr. Armstrong is going to call down to WSU and then talk with his internist there as well as um, the other doctor that did his actual um, mega esophagus information um, and so he is going to talk to them in the meantime we are actually going to address the bacterial issue so he's going to go on amoxicillin and he's going to go on metronidazole um, as well as his daily omeprazole that he's on which is an acid reflux so the metronidazole and the amoxicillin will hopefully be able to take care of best case scenario what we're hoping is that those two things will then resolve the bacterial issue and we're really hoping that that is what is the source of his GI bleed. That's our best case scenario. We're going to do some blood work tomorrow um, and then see where his albumin is um, and see if that's any better and has maybe slightly improved. See where that's at right now. So we'll get that done and then um, it's kind of a sit and wait type of informational kind of thing. So We'll do that. He's fine. He's running around. He's still crazy wild man Jack, as always. <laughs> he's so weird. Um, so we're going to, he's, I mean, he's fine for all intents and purposes. So we're going to just kind of take it day by day. Um, eventually, we may need to change his food if something doesn't resolve. Um, so for right now, metronidazole, amoxicillin, omeprazole, and blood work. And other than that. Have a great day. Hope you guys are having a super duper Tuesday and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.